Hi, and welcome to Manager Tech Talk. I thought it would be fun again to kick off the year with a more casual video. Show you the current state of my studio, share some of the plans I have for the channel, and just ask you what you would like to see from me this year. So, let's dive right in. Last year has been great for the channel, and I'm super grateful for that. It's all possible because you are watching my tutorials and the support I get from patrons, which literally makes this channel possible. So I started thinking of arranging my studio in a way that would improve my productivity as a video creator, streamlined from making interesting videos. This resulted in the idea of creating multiple compact but functional systems. The right side of the studio now has two modular systems. The performance case, sound design or studio case. On top of that, there's a portable compact techno case. And I'm excited to have just added a starter case. I'll go over these cases in the next chapters, share some of the plans I have with them and point out some of my favorite modules. The core idea though is that I can have one or more systems patched, while still being free to work with others. If I'm working on a larger musical patch on one system, I can use another to learn about a module I will do an in-depth video on, or use another case to make a quick demo about something. Because all these systems function on their own, I can work on and explore multiple videos at the same time. Using compact systems is also important to me because I want to show you don't need a wall of stuff to make good sounds and interesting patches. By the way, in the last year's studio tour, I went over all my non modular gear in chronological order and explained a bit more about my backstory. I also made a video with graphics on how everything within my studio is connected, both for audio and MIDI, and that video is still accurate and fun to watch. You can find those videos here if you want to watch them later. My performance case is dear to my heart. I spent years saving money and buying modules for it, and having a compact case I could do performances with is why I got into modular. Here you see a more camera shy me explaining the modules in the case two years ago. It was the first video on this channel, but as you can see, the case didn't change so much. I rearranged a couple of things to improve the workflow during live performances though. For example, in the old setup, I had patch heavy modules, such as a clock divider and quantizer, here on the top left corner, as well as two oscillators. Simply because people often put oscillators in the top left corner of a synth. But in the current setup, I rearrange things based on the live patch. Now, those modules are here in the lower mid, covered in wires because I don't really tweak those modules during a live performance. Now, the top left corner is free for this dual filter and the sample player, which are both modules I do tweak a lot. In general though, the concept of this case is still very much the same. It holds two fairly basic voices. One is made with one of my favorite oscillators of all time, the Erica Synth's Black Wavetable VCL, through a delay and filter. And the other voice is just a through zero FM oscillator through a filter. Both voices are sequenced with the BeatStep Pro.
All percussion in this setup is done with samples. I use the 4MS stereo triggered sample player for that a lot and I still think it's great. But I recently exchanged that for the Squarp Rample, which is very rapidly going to my favorite modules of all time. It's a great quad sample player with a couple of powerful features. Especially the option to have each of the four samples cycle through or randomly play one of multiple samples is great. These are all triggered with the BeatStep Pro as well. Of course, the case has some modulation, mostly here on the right. And for effects, I still love clouds, with original firmware. I use stackable cables at the end of both voices, as well as some samples. This way, I can always use a regular cable to tap a signal and feed it into an all wet clouds for stereo effect. large part of the case here on top is just for signal flow. I use the Linux with 6 VCAs as mixer and master volume control for the sounds. I really like it and think it's a shame they don't make it anymore. Next to it are two triads for attenuating and mixing, and perhaps my favorite module of all time, the Happy Nerding 3x Mia, master of utility. I'm happy having this setup here, with sequencer and Yamaha CP, completely independent of the rest. Last year, I did a lot of my videos in this case because other setups lacked certain core ingredients to do proper demos. But now I changed that, so this year I should be able to leave this setup basically patched and ready to go. That would be nice, because I didn't have so much time for live performances last year. But I also want to use this setup to make more videos about writing music and performing live with a modular setup. The studio case was expanded a lot last year and it's now fully rearranged and functional. The whole concept of this setup is modular, having multiple usable cases, with in the middle the core case. This case holds the Moog Mavis, which is a great and complete compact voice. It also has some good utility, so it makes demoing things easy. But the case also holds a bunch of great elements that are more focused on interesting sound design, and not so much on being compact or performable. For example, two of my favorite modules, the ADAC triple bandpass filter and the quad function generator. These are great for detailed sound design and large generative patches for example, but less quick to dial in in live views. There's also a dual sequencer, nice complex oscillator, additional multi-mode gates, lots of modulation power from the joystick and so on. In general, a great case for melodic sound exploration. top and bottom of the core case are two smaller cases. The top one is filling fast. I've been working a lot with Chaos devices last year because I love their modules. There are some more modules on the way right now actually, and this will be a Chaos only setup that could stand alone and is great for exploration and sound design. I really like the unconventional oscillator Sophia, the Leibniz subsystem is great for all sorts of patching experiments, and there are great stereo effects in this case as well.
For the bottom case, I have plans to make a drone system, but you'll have to wait to hear more from that. At the moment, it has a couple of exciting modules I am making videos about. But what I like is that this entire setup is very flexible for me when it comes to recording. I can just use the core case, any of the subsystems, the whole setup, or even exchange a subsystem if I want. So this setup is great for demo videos, but I also plan to record more jam sessions again and share tips and ideas for those. The third case is the compact techno case. I call it that because it needs a name, but this setup is also great for things like dark ambient drones and rhythmic soundscapes. It's very compact because this setup has Droid, which is this collection of modules here. I actually picked Droid as my favorite module of the year and did a full video on it if you'd like to learn more about it. Droid takes care of all pattern and melodic sequencing. It creates LFOs, envelopes, I put a CV recorder in there and so on. It's the control hub for the entire case. The other modules in the case have a similar approach as my other live case. There are two monophonic synth voices here, but these are made with more specific sound generation in mind. The first voice is made with chord samples from the IO Himalaya with overdriven high and low pass filters. The second voice is a simple oscillator with some FM through the A2V project CDVCA. <laughs> there are a couple of percussive elements. The wonderful Nabila Kekane, which also functions as a sidechain compressor. And here is my trusty dual sample player. This one is great for hands-on tweaking. I also get a sample out of the Himalaya. And that's enough to make a percussive section. This case will be used for videos on making live modular techno, and I'll kick that off with a detailed walkthrough of the case and patch in my next video. And finally, I'm quite excited about a new starter case. I teamed up with Nano Modules from Spain to set this up. It's the full collection of their modules that make up for a very complete and powerful synth voice. I like this because it's a great setup to show basic synthesis concepts and talk about valuable things when starting with a modular. Added bonus is that Nano offers all their modules for free on VCV Rack, so you can patch along even without a modular. I'd love to hear from you what you'd like to see the most from me this year. For example, in-depth videos of new released modules, more about basic synthesis techniques, detailed musical patches with specific cases, or more videos on performing or writing modular music. If you're not a Patreon supporter, head over there to check it out, because Patrons get access to all my patch ideas in PDF form, and I have lots of plans for more Patreon-exclusive material. In any case, I'm happy to go for another year of modular videos. I wish you a great 2023, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to share it with me. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.